Today, we're going to be talking about a pretty popular nutrient, omega-3s, specifically omega-3 supplements, including fish oil supplements. Hi, I'm Lisa Valenti, registered dietitian with Healthline. According to one national survey, fish oil supplements are the most common non-vitamin or mineral supplement taken by adults and children. About 8% of adults and 1% of children reported taking fish oil in the past 30 days and one in five U.S. adults over 60 years old takes fish oil supplements for their heart health. But what does the science say? Let's take a closer look at omega-3s, the research around seafood and fish oil, and the pros and cons to supplementation. What are omega-3s? Omega-3s are a type of polyunsaturated fatty acid found in seafood, fish, and plant sources like flax, chia seeds, walnuts. We get omega-3s from food or from supplements. EPA and DHA are the two specific omega-3s found in fish, and ALA is found in plant foods. Supplements you might see that contain omega-3s include fish oil, fish liver oil, including cod liver oil, krill oil, algal oil, and flaxseed oil. The dietary guidelines recommend that American adults get about eight ounces or two servings of seafood per week because fish contain beneficial nutrients like omega-3 fats. Less than 20% of Americans are eating seafood twice weekly or more, though. About one-third of us eat seafood once per week, and more than half are eating seafood occasionally or never. In most cases, getting omega-3s into your diet from food is preferred over supplementing, though. Much of the research around omega-3s has been focused on EPA and DHA, from fish or fish oil, rather than plant-based ALA, but the best outcomes have usually been found in eating more seafood and fish rather than supplementing. So while science has shown that omega-3s and eating more omega-3-rich seafood can be beneficial for your heart, your brain, your skin, it's harder to say with certainty that supplementing will give you the same benefits. When it comes to heart health, research shows that omega-3 supplements don't reduce the risk of heart disease, but people who eat seafood one to four times per week are less likely to die of heart disease. That could be because of the extra nutrients found in seafood, or it could be that seafood is replacing other less healthy foods on your plate. Taking supplements may also make you feel like you don't have to worry as much about your diet, right? Just pop a pill and eat whatever you want. But unfortunately, that's not how nutrition works. High doses of omega-3s may also help reduce your triglyceride levels, but the dosage that was effective is found in prescription omega-3 medication, not supplements you'd buy over the counter. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in our blood and high levels may raise your risk of heart disease. The biggest benefit for your heart is going to be from eating more seafood. Omega-3s are also beneficial for your brain. They help benefit learning, memory, cognition, and blood flow to your brain. When it comes to your mood, some studies looking at omega-3 supplements have had promising results around depression, but nothing has been conclusive. Having a higher level of omega-3s in your diet is associated with a lower risk of developing depression, and taking an omega-3 supplement along with antidepressant medication showed better results than just taking the medication in one study. So it may be worth talking to your doctor about omega-3 supplements if you have depression, especially if you don't consume a lot of seafood. Omega-3 supplements may help relieve symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, likely because of their anti-inflammatory effects. Taking omega-3s may help reduce joint stiffness and swelling. If you're interested in adding a fish oil supplement to your routine, we'll link an article in the description down below that talks about how to shop for a fish oil supplement and what to look for, since not all supplements are created equally. While there aren't a lot of well-researched benefits to taking a fish oil supplement, side effects from omega-3 supplements are usually mild. They might be an unpleasant taste or fishy burps, heartburn, or nausea. And you may be able to reduce some of that GI discomfort by taking fish oil supplements with a meal. Omega-3 supplements may interact with some medications, so always talk with your healthcare practitioner if you want to start supplementing. While omega-3s are a healthy fat to include more of in your diet, eating foods like fish and seafood and plant-based sources like chia seeds and walnuts is likely more beneficial for your health than taking an omega-3 supplement. That's all we've got on fish oil supplements today, but if there's another supplement you'd like us to take a closer look at or you have more questions about omega-3s, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more from me and Healthline.